what, what the lady's talking about. Damn. Yeah. What's up, family? Alicia Keys says she took her four-year-old son Genesis to the nail salon with her to get his nails done. She said he was all excited. He hopped up in the chair. The nail tech came out with the different colors. He chose the rainbow colors. However, she said after he got his nails done, he had a change of heart. She asked why. You were so sure. You're good. He said because people aren't going to like it. At that point, she said she became frustrated with the possibility of people judging her son, putting a label on him. Hmm, where do we start? Let's start with the rainbow. The rainbow was simply a plain old rainbow minding its own business until the gay community chose the rainbow as its official color scheme and labeled it. So if you want to blame someone for the label, blame the gay community. Furthermore, symbols, certain color schemes, and insignias mean something in our society. Companies and individuals use them for the purpose of branding. For example, if someone tattooed a swastika on their body, one would be right to believe that they were a Hitler supporter or a racist. If you caught someone wearing a MAGA hat, you would think that that person is a Trump supporter. Likewise, if you saw someone in a Dallas Cowboys jersey, you would be led to believe that that person is a Cowboys fan. Now, Genesis might be a great kid, but if Alicia and her husband allows that boy to walk around with rainbow colored nails, he will be labeled right or wrong. Moving on to masculinity, let's be clear. A man because of his character could be considered toxic, but there is no such thing as toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity is a phrase used to undermine masculinity in men. Now, one could argue that if the natural order of things were compromised as distinguished by humans, there could be such a thing as toxic femininity in men and toxic masculinity in women. Judgment. We are all judgmental. We live in a judgmental society. If we didn't think that we would be judged, most of us who have hair would not bother to groom it because it takes time. If we didn't think we would be judged, before we kiss or get up close to people, we probably wouldn't worry about popping a mint or chewing gum. If we didn't think we would be judged, we walk out of the house with anything on. Well, some of us do that anyway. But I'm just saying, in general, we would just walk out of the house with Mitch Mac socks on and, and uncoordinated clothing. We just wouldn't care because we know we're going to be judged and we do judge every single one of us judge on a daily basis. Whether we're judging in person and we're telling the person, well, I don't like that. Well, you know, and they say, what do you think about this? And then you're judging them. You're saying, yeah, well, uh, that looks good. That don't look good. We're watching television and we're judging, 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 judging. So that is what we all do. Judging is something that we all do. What I find happening a lot of times is that People will say, stop judging so that they can do whatever they want to do and not be judged and not or not feel guilty about doing whatever they're doing. So let's get that straight. We live in a judgmental society. Now, having said all of that, 
I refuse to live my life the way someone else thinks I should live my life. I do think about being judged, but not to the point where I lose sleep. So I would recommend that each and every one of you who are within the sound of my voice do the same. Do what makes you sleep good at night. But understand this, whatever you do, you will be judged. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.